Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, let's set up a user so they can create and edit their own dashboards. Notice this user, Alan, doesn't even have the button to create a dashboard. So how do we fix that? Well, as the admin, we're going to go into setup and we're going to add the permission. Now there's a couple ways to give Alan the permission. One is to modify the profile. So you may have a whole team of users, a sales team, a service team, and you might want to create a custom profile just for that team. And everyone on that team will have the same permissions. So we go into the profile and we search for the permission we want to add. Now I'm just searching for the word dashboard and notice there are actually quite a few different dashboard permissions. Do we want to let them change colors? Do we want to let them schedule dashboards? So there are a couple permissions here that you might want to look into, but for most of you, most of the time, create and customize dashboards is the one you're looking for. When you click on it, Salesforce finds where that permission is in that profile and you can see if it's checked or not. And you could click edit and toggle that permission for those users and you'd be done. Another option is to use something called a permission set. A permission set is like a profile, but you add it on top of a profile. You can assign it to any users you like. So here it works very similar to a profile. I search for dashboard. I look for the permission that I want to assign my user. Salesforce finds it for me and brings it back on the page. And in this case, it hasn't been checked yet because it's a brand new permission set. So I'm going to edit the permission set and I'm going to go find that permission and check the box. Now you're welcome to add any other combination of permissions that you want. Maybe you want to give some user access to dashboards and many other things. Okay. But one way or the other, you hit save. And now that we have the permission set created, we just need to decide who to give these permissions to. So we manage our assignments and we add it to, let's say, Alan, the user in question for this demo. And we're done. Alan now has the permission. And the very next time he refreshes his page, the new dashboard button is there. So he can immediately begin creating and editing dashboards.